So uh, you're from the US, right? What do you do with SharePoint? I'm the senior architect at Wagner Edstrom. It's a PR company for some places or companies you might know like uh, Microsoft and T-Mobile. So yes, I've dealt with Wagner um, with uh, PR issues. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't my fault. I just do SharePoint. So. Right. Okay. So you're not a PI guy. So tell us about the scale of um, or uh, uh, the scale of what uh, Wagner used for their um, you know SharePoint. Well, Wagner Edstrom has uh, about a thousand employees, but we're all over the world. So I have a SharePoint farm in London, one in uh, Oregon, and one in Hong Kong. So that's that's why I have such a good experience with distributed SharePoint applications because I've had that real life experience. Well, that's interesting. So tell us, um, SharePoint 2010 replication, how well does it work? It works well with what I'm using it for. Uh, if you're going to be doing a large scale replication, I think of going with a third party product is still probably the best bet. We're replicating uh, videos, uh, fairly large videos, up to 100 megs, I guess. Uh, we want to be countries to be able to access it locally, not have to go all the way back to Oregon. So if you're in India, you access the Hong Kong server to the, see the video. And if you're in New York City, you actually go to uh, Oregon to watch it. So, Okay. So if I've got uh, Sharep SharePoint users in, say, India, and I've got them in the US, uh, how simple is it to have it replicate just lists, lists with videos in them? Yes. Well, so what I actually had to do is put the videos in a separate site collection, and then I replicate that whole site repl uh, collection over and then it's fairly simple with the uh, SharePoint central administration tool I don't have a lot of features or special applications basically that site is just those videos so as long as you do something contained like that it works well okay well it's good to know there's not too many problems just replicating a site a simple site collection yeah, simple site. okay all right cool um, what uh, pain points have you had with uh, 2010 uh, 2010 uh, getting users to uh, fill out their uh, my sites really has been a challenge, <laughs> especially since we deal with uh, people all over the world, Asia, Europe, and you know the United States. So getting everybody kind of on the same uh, platform, you know, same place where they're all filling in. For example, our uh, German office actually everybody's my sites filled in completely, and they they're all onto it. <laughs> They're regimented. Yeah, they're regimented. So they get told to do something and they do it. But, uh, you know, some of our other offices, not so much. And uh, even though we do feature stories, we send out emails, it's still hard for them to, to really grasp the MySite concept and, and actually go and fill their data out. But on the other hand, we do four or 500 people searches a day. So the MySites are getting heavily used because every time they do that, you know, you see the MySite. So. All right, so let's uh, talk about SharePoint 2013. Tell me something in it that um, you're excited by. I really like the community sites that they put in there. So it's you know basically a forum, and I can assign points to people when they post stuff. I can give them points for replying, and this really motivates people. I can also give uh, gift badges uh, if they you know if I see somebody's doing a lot of really good work, I can assign that gift badge. And I, you know, internally we can uh, attach that to real things like monetary value. Uh, like our company gives rewards every quarter for people that do well. Well, this gift badge could be attached to that. So there's not just the gamification. We can actually, uh, you know, reward people for contributing to the forums. And now we have a way to keep track. Right. So this gamification became really well, became quite popular on Stack Overflow, and was done really well. Um, how happy are you? How rounded out is the feature set in what you've seen in 2013 in these forums? It's, it seems to be really well thought out. Uh, I think a lot of it is based on the MSN forums and where people go to get SharePoint answers. So, you know, they've had a lot of experience there and they've taken that experience and moved it into SharePoint. So it's very customizable. Um, you can assign different types of points. You can also have feedback for, like, if somebody puts in something offensive, there's a way to uh, notify the content owner that the offensive content's there so they can go take it out or look at it. So, yeah, they I think they spent a lot of time. Okay. So let's, uh, let's assume that you're the boss of SharePoint, let's just say Jeff Tipa, and uh, you get a chance to put some resources into something. I want to know what things do you want uh, improved or sorted out in SharePoint 2013? 
I would like to see SharePoint be more in the commercial world. I'd like to see some commercial components available that are easily pluggable. For example, uh, being able to take credit cards or having a, a you know, B2B kind of business set up, being able to take PayPal. Those are things that we could like put into uh, a web part, say, and then just add it on to be able to expose it to the internet. Um, there's been some success with some companies, uh, like Hawaiian Airlines uses SharePoint. So I think that we could take some of that knowledge and then you know, easily slide it into because you have such a good foundation with all the other parts. Right, so web content management. Yeah. Right, so yeah, we did a, a large site. Uh, we did a several, but one, one that um, got a lot of press was wallyparsons.com, and uh, that was more pain to develop uh, than a you know, simple MVC-style site. But uh, they had a, they were a large company. They really enjoyed that process. But it hasn't really taken hold, like kind of WordPress has taken hold of just you know, basic um, web content management. Yeah, well, I think WordPress does certain little things, uh, makes it easy to do. So I can take somebody off the street and give them a little bit of training, and they can go create a WordPress site. Um, I think you could do the same thing with SharePoint if you just uh, you know had some wizards built in or some tools like that and be able to access or make SharePoint available to everybody so they can make it their own. Okay. So Michael, uh, give me one other thing that you wouldn't mind getting sorted out in 2013. <laughs> well, I'm still looking forward to the uh, Yammer uh, piece. Uh, Microsoft acquired Yammer a couple of months ago, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to integrate that with SharePoint. Um, our company uses Yammer internally a lot, and I would like to be able to, you know, feed that into my my sites and make it more uh, relevant. So, okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, thanks, Ed. Thank um, you. Before you go, um, what uh, what will you be doing in Sydney for you while you're here? Um, maybe a little sightseeing and and definitely having a beer. So, <laughs> some Australian gonna, beer. <laughs> you, oh, there's plenty of Australian beer. You're gonna uh, climb the uh, the bridge. Um, I'm I'm a little scared of heights actually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how, we'll see. It's made it American friendly like they suit you up with lots of chains you can't fall off. Okay, I didn't even know that was going on, but I'm um, glad you let me know. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Michael. And with this, that's Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV. Thank you.